Don't you just love the smell of MDF in the morning? Yeah, I know I do. Slice, glue, paint, enjoy. Yes, good day to you all. It's Craigham here, and um, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts now. Um, I've got here today is, so these have started appearing in the tournament scenes um, in different styles, a lot of different companies making them. Now I am having a look today at Element Games cloud base uh, like movement trays essentially. So they're kind of like a 40k movement tray. Uh, so we've got the, 30, uh, the 32 mil and we've got the 25 mil. So both hold five men per piece. Uh, so let's put, uh, let's open up the 25 mil and have a look. So the way these work is, so I think you get, so they're not made fully because obviously they're just MDF cut. Um, but you can get a few different ones from Element. Uh, these are the basic ones. I think they're £2 for these per thing or £2.25 for these. I can't remember. I think it's £2.20 or something like that. So anyway, so the way it works is you would glue this down and basically it keeps your unit coherent to each other. So I have got, for example, one, two, oh, it's going well, three, going well, four, going well, five, going well. I look at that, they're all in there together. And now you might be saying, whoops. Uh, <laughs> You might be saying, well, that was silly, Craig. Yes, that was silly. Um, no. But what is important about these is it's speed. So, and also, because how now 40K, how now 40K, uh, doesn't really entail unit coherency being a really big issue of, like, blast templates, things like that, It you can now have your units in these kind of, like, close as possible together. But you don't want to be keep moving them up directly all the way up the time, like really close and getting them in. So these come in handy, for, especially if you're a horde army, like orcs, things like that. Moving five, spru five lots of five men at a time compared to moving, say, 25 men is <laughs> mathematics, um, is a lot more advantage than... It's, it's time saver, if anything. It's a time saver. Plus, as well, I quite like it. I mean, I am I'm doing my Tau army again, my Tau back in line. Um, so I quite like having the idea of having these to just have my like my Pathfinders in the units of five moving up. The same with my Stealth Suits, 32 millimeter bases. So they all work perfectly. Um, so I have, like I said, I've got three of each. Uh, this is the ones what I got from, I actually went into Element to get these. Um, so they're a lovely bunch of guys there, always pleasant, uh, and they did them straight on the spot for us, which was really nice. Um, so I know the intro started with the MDF thing, but I genuinely, I love the smell of MDF once it's been cut. Okay, so, <laughs> so nice little bit of advertising on them there for them. Uh, so next lot, we'll do it with some Chaos Marines, uh, some Death Guard even. So uh, Captain Test Model. So you can see, as long as your models don't go too much off the base, I'm not going to try and drop these ones. Um, I'm going to hold them like that, so you can see. It, it's quite nice, I think, especially for kind of your rank and file unit. So, say you've got a 10-man unit of um, the plasma guys for Primaris. You can get yourself all of them in place and you know that you're going to get an equal amount of shots because you've got those guys there and the best thing is you let's put this bring another one out you can do that so you can have full 10 man unit uh, let's get five more men to go with so this will include the champion as well so boom Boom, oh, moved it. Obviously, I'll be gluing these down, but uh, yeah. So it is really good because sometimes you do in a game, you go, oh, he can't shoot. Look at that. That is a 10-man squad 
all perfectly lined up. So you know you're going to get those 10 shots. And the cool thing is you can do this, you can kind of like, you can, so you can have them however you want, because they all interlink. So you could, you could like say, you could have that, that, and that as a blob of 15 men moving around. So it, I, I'm really chuffed with it, I have to say, it is really good. Um, I will be using, employing these in battles very soon, so <laughs> maybe not in battle reports because we need to get the battle reports filmed, don't we, Craig? Yes. Um, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm phasing. Um, yeah, so I got a bit mesmerized by using them. Um, yeah, I think they're a really good kit. Go check out Element Games. Um, there is more companies out there doing them, but I think Element are probably one of the cheapest ones because they are just MDF cut ones. And like I say, they are. They're cheap, easy to make. But they, they do the job. I'm gonna I'm gonna paint mine up uh, black rims so that they kind of keep. And I'm gonna maybe I think I'm gonna paint these like my um, my death guard. But I'm gonna paint these like my towel, um, so that the rims match the base. And I think that looks quite nice as well because it makes them similar to how Lord of the Rings used to have, where it used to make a unit look like it was running across the field. It makes that look like the the scenery around them. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I will be back with more videos very soon. Uh, this is a little one here, and see you all very soon. Don't forget to hit a like, subscribe, and ring, ring, bell, uh, whatever it is. Um, do the host pokey, um, I sacrifice chicken to your lord, and you know what, uh, if you want to see more content. Hope you enjoy, guys. This has been Kragum. Enjoy.